This playthrough is rated M for Mature. Greetings and salutations, everyone, Valdemar here with more Dragon Guard 3D Branch. Today, verse 7. With Octa, the only remaining disciple, camp is a quiet place indeed. Zero decides to break the silence by revealing the truth of her story. To Octa, of all people. Strange. And the dragon, of course. Alright, so we got a we got a couple of black material. Uh, we got one from when I finished that one survival, which I actually finished it a couple bits like right after the fact. Oh, I don't have the money. Well, I didn't do any money grinding, so never mind, we won't do it. I may have it next time, but yeah, I beat like I think like two tries after I stopped playing. So it was really just utilizing the bombs basically to do all the damage to him really and just getting out of the way. Probably the sword's the best one for that if you're gonna really utilize bombs because the spear takes a while to get out of its uh, stabby stabby thing. So anyway, let's go on with the verse. Same as the first. Alright, Mikhail, 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 whatever. It sure is quiet now that everyone's gone. Feeling lonely, are we? Yeah. I miss chatting with everyone before bedtime. No point thinking about it now. Go to sleep. Well, I'm gonna talk I to really you liked again. having everyone with us, you know? That definitely made it more lively. Alright, Octa, what do you guys say? Why the long face, Octa? Late for your nightly measuring ceremony? Ah, uh, yes. I tell you, it is really quite strange. The little scamp won't rise for me tonight. Not a single twitch. That's unusual. So much for the great Octa's illustrious career, eh? <laughs> ah, that's an interesting And case. just when I had your exclusive attentions, too. Such a shame. Let's get going. My lady, if I may, I think the time has come for you to tell me about your flower. <sighs> Forgive me, my lady. Have I overstepped my bounds? No, I suppose it's about time. It all started two years ago. there's still chests and everything here I would not be surprised I'll do a quick quick run when we don't have any of our disciples or or the dragon this is weird and there's no music either or sound effects really for that matter I like rap tap tapping on my chamber door I thought of it forevermore the first time I saw this flower was the day I died now I'm just a corpse being kept alive by the flower's magic. A corpse. My brain, my heart, my body. It's all being kept in motion by the flower. I'm no longer alive in any real sense of the word. This flower is a calamity that threatens the entire world. It's growing, feeding off me. Eventually it's going to consume me entirely. And once that happens, once it's fully grown, it's going to destroy everything. Well, that sucks, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty shit deal, huh? Now, who are you talking? Are you talk still talking to Octa, or are you talking to the audience? I'm not sure. Well, whatever makes you feel better, my lady. Die, Wizard, die. I know Mr. Wizard was a boring TV show, but I still made me learn about science. 
Well, it still taught me about science, but it was boring in the, what is it, the way you present it, I guess is the best way to, to, to describe it, or uh, explain it. I was, I was thinking I shouldn't be talking during this scene just because I feel like it has a lot of atmosphere, but, eh. Where's all those treasure chests? I want those treasure chests. Now yeah, let's keep going. Maybe there's one around here somewhere. Oh, wrong. Well, I did not have the uh, chakra equipped. I have my spear. That is for the slow days. Ah, oh, come on. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. You're bad. You're bad. Right, now we gotta find those imps. That should have knocked you. I don't get what. What constitutes me hitting him with my chakra and what doesn't? I want to know. Now he fell. Jeez. There we go. Got your ass. I'm just gonna kill this other one too. So was I just too far away? You know, like I said, I don't I really have a good idea of like what constitutes me hitting these guys. You know, no, I'll kill that guy quickly. Okay. okay, I did hit him apparently. Had to do it a couple of times before it's a before it hits or catches on or whatever. There we go. Let's see. Now we're in the next area. Sorry, I was checking my teeth. Here you go, the when I realized somewhere. I was infected by a flower that was going to end the world, I tried to kill myself. Well, technically I was already dead, but yeah. Anyway, so this is all the flowers fault? I tried to rip the damn thing out, but in the end, that just made things worse. The flower freaked out, started sprouting these children. Five little girls, one after the other. They burst out of me and ran off before I could blink. Kind of like uh, Athena and Zeus. To prevent Zeus. me from killing it. The flower made copies of me, and that's how I ended up with my sisters. Oh. So of course, that's why she wants children to kill. aren't any more alive than I am. So now, the eldest corpse is running around killing all of its little corpse sisters. <laughs> Insane, isn't it? It'd make more sense if Octo was it was or Mikaela was Mikaela was confined to this. They each ran off with a piece of my magic, or the flower's magic, I guess. At first, I tried to recapture them, but they had all my power, and I had nothing. Yeah, no chest right here. Let's keep going. That's why she wanted to murder him. You want to know the best make part? Nice After a while, my sisters started fighting for peace. They come from a flower that's going to end the world, and they fight for peace. Hilarious. Not really, but go on. Anyway, that's when I made my choice. I decided to kill my sisters, and then destroy the flower. Okay, go over there. I figured I started this whole mess, you know? I might as well finish it. That just showed that the her clones were basically forming personalities. So that's about the long and short of it. That's what this whole thing's about. Where 
all the chests. Are they at the very end of the episode? and your two wisdom, two tail. I need to heal myself. If not a bunch, a little bit. Ah, ah. As soon as I heal myself a bit, I... I yeah, you can tell it's getting near the end of the game when I'm actually starting to have to use items and stuff like that. I mean, I could have been using my toner powers, but like I said, it's almost like... I almost feel like they're the too good to use club or something. Which is silly talk, but you know. That's just how I feel sometimes. Yeah, you're not stabbing me. Fucking archer pieces of shit. I'm sorry, that, that, that just annoys the shit. Just cheap, god, cheap ass motherfuckers. Like I said, it is annoying as hell. I don't wanna, don't wanna fall off yet, I just wanna make sure I've... There's got to be a chest in this area. Or, not in this area, but, you know, in... Oh, I remember this area now. Okay. Aha! Found one! Well, if I find anything, at least I found one. Where are the other areas that had to be? Yeah, this is, like, one of the first areas in the game. Well, close, yeah. It's weird that there's still, like, sword effects in the background, too. You think they would just take that out in general, just have the music running or something? I don't know, I, I was. Uh, it's kind of funny in a weird way. That they decide to leave it in the other random noises. It's a talkie picture, you know? You gotta have all the noises. Of course, now there's no other sounds other than the music in the background because she decided, I've already told my tale. No more talking now. We are done. No well, should just here. Let me go ahead and just heal myself again. <sighs> just in case. I don't want to... Like I said, I don't want to get... I've already been accidentally killed once already in this game. Like, you know, didn't expect. The immediate cold hand of death upon my bosom. Why am I fighting all these guys? I could just skip most of those. Yeah, poor habit, I guess. Just like you just you just can't like most games always say you gotta kill everything on screen. Like most hack and slash action games require you to do that on regular occasions. So I always assume I have to do it. This kind of reminds me of. Uh, game called Plock for the SNES. They had a they had a scene where you where the main character talked about his grandfather in the past and it did it in black and white. I don't know, I kinda like that idea of a design where you don't remember all the details or it shows it like maybe like an old timey video, you know like dun, 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 dun. Yeah. Except this one doesn't have old timey music in the background. It has a piano music. It's okay. It sets, it sets, I guess, the mood it wants it to. It's hard to do that in a hack, an action game, though, hack and slash, because, I mean, most scenes can't, just can't really do with a, with light piano music, you know what I mean? I think I saw another treasure chest. No, anyway. Oh, dear. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. There's nothing else around here. That'd be funny that if I do miss a treasure chest, it's one of those where if I turned around, I would have found it. And be like, oh, there it is. I do almost kind of like the fact that there's a there's basically an action scene while she was describing her like what happened in the past, except you know like she's not talking anymore. She's like, I'm done. All right, but you know we got a whole we got the rest of the level to go through, lady. So yeah, but I'm done. 
Yeah, I could, I could just skip this area. It's not like it's required. He still stabbed me? Was he even doing the motion? Shield guy just disappear into oblivion? I think he did. I think he did. By Joe, I think he's got it. She's got it. She's got it. By Joe, I think she's got it. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I wasted everyone's time by fighting all that. But that's fine. Did the game expect me to like just run past everything or something? Like it's like, oh, okay, here's my story, and then you just run away from everything. Nothing here, that's weird. I think there would be a oh, now there is. Great. Uh-oh. It's a thing. Oh my god. Mainly just because of how the damage they do if they hit you, god. It's almost worse than, like, the big creatures. I'm gonna have Mikhail help me if I want to. That's strange. As I search right, for a way to overs. kill my sisters. Oh, now you start talking. I learned there was only one option. If I wanted to put him in the ground for good, I was going to need a dragon. See, to break the flower's magic, only a dragon. Or a weapon made from a dragon will do the trick. So I joined up with Michael, the strongest dragon of them all. And the two of us worked together. Until you, Michael got hurt so badly by uh, the attack on all sisters at once, because you were you're an intelligent character. That nah, would have hurt some big time. Big time nuts. Oh, there's Michael. So why didn't she just call the rebirth version of this dragon the same name? It's not like the dragon cares, right? I don't know, maybe it's her memory that she's she cares to uh, Zero. save or something. Yeah? Are you certain about this? What's wrong, Michael? Are you scared? Bah, I feel nothing. <laughs> A dragon who reneges on his word? That'd be something. I would never sully myself so. Then you know what to do. Okay, I thought Antonis for some reason had the ability to summon dragons. No, she just found one that says like, Yeah, I'll do it. Why not? I'm not doing anything today. It's Saturday, right? I'm, I'm pretty free. Hey, you random dude. You're dead. Now, if I fail to hit you. Okay, I should just do my fist since I haven't used that in a while. Michael's beating the crap out of him. I kind of wish the game was being played with Michael instead of Zero, instead of uh, Mik Mikhail. Because I don't like Mikhail. Mainly, I don't like a lot of kid characters in games. They're always annoying. Even as a kid, I didn't like other kid characters. I was like, eh, bring on the cool guys. I don't, I don't like... I know why they bring in kid characters or teenage characters, because they try to... Because at a certain age, you want to, like, like, be a part of the characters you're playing. You're like, oh, they're just like me, man. True. Once all my sisters are dead, you have to kill me too. Deal? Agreed. Oh crap. I didn't want to finish yet. Well, well. 
Glad to see you're finally interested in hearing me out. Yeah. Though you could sound a bit more thankful at least. Just start talking before I tear you apart. Ooh, scary. Fine, fine. Listen up. For starters, let's talk about your sisters, shall we? You know, the accursed sisters that you're destined to fight. Then, we should talk about how much time you've got left. Soon that was the damn it, I missed one. I wouldn't be surprised if the treasure chest was like right there and I bypassed it and talked to the end. I don't know, you guys probably saw it, but I, I didn't at the time anyway. I don't know, it was like near the beginning actually. Huh. Great, I'm gonna have to play through that level again just to find the one at the beginning. Okay, so there's the one there and there. So it's obviously gotta be some either in the first sealed area or the long stretch before that. I looked everywhere, I didn't see it. I, uh, I, I guess I didn't. Alright. I think it's gold, but I'm gonna go ahead and get it, like, before I play the next episode anyway. Because I assume the next episode's probably a boss, or we're going to fight a boss. Or we're close to it, or something like that. That was an interesting one. At least it, at least it did some explaining. I have to wait to the very end to explain stuff. Alright, uh, can we buy... No, I can't buy black material yet. And it'll be a good chance to get me some extra money so I can do some upgrades on some of my weapon. So, in the next episode of Dragon Guard 3 Branch D, we'll continue on and possibly fight a boss. See y'all then, and thanks for watching.